Hello guys and welcome back to another video, today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 98 in VirtualBox. Before we get started, please vote up in the poll what my next video should be about. Don't forget to share this video, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more, click the subscribe button alongside that bell to get notifications every time I upload a new video. Also, the only file you'll need is this ISO and VirtualBox or VMware linked in the description. So I'll put the link for Drive and Mediafire and the link to a video on how to get VMware free, full and legal from their website. Also, you will need this license key that will be listed in the description of this video. So what you need to do is click search windows or just uh, anything and just open up your virtual box so I'm just gonna open it from my start menu because I don't have it on my desktop or my taskbar so click new and call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it Windows 98 make sure the type and version are Windows 98 and put in an amount of RAM just don't put too much or it's not gonna support it it's gonna say error so create a virtual hard drive and select your format and click next click dynamically or fixed I just recommend you fix size is better so click next put in an amount for your virtual hard drive and you can also browse and move it so click create and on fixed size it's going to take a little while to actually create it on dynamic late it's going to be instant but i just see it better on being on fixed size So click upon settings and in this new window just double check you have all the settings I have. Now the, these look good and on display you may want to m add more video memory. I'm going to put 32 but don't put too much. Windows 98 doesn't support that much. On controller ID go to your optical drive and choose our ISO. Now the rest of the settings look good. So I'm just going to click OK. Click Start. Now if this installation doesn't succeed to you from the first time, just keep trying. This is my third attempt. So I'm just going to maximize this window and I'm going to zoom in so you can see with your arrows and enter boot from CD-ROM and start Windows 98 setup. You'll get prompted to this new screen and now you want to click enter on your keyboard. Now configure unallocated space, hit yes to enable large disk support and now it's going to reboot so click boot CD-ROM again and click start Windows 98 setup again. Now you're going to get prompted to another screen which will format drive C. This should not take a lot of time. Click enter on your keyboard again. And now once it's done, you're going to get to the GUI of installation. Hover your mouse and click it and go click capture to get your mouse on your Windows 98 machine and click continue. Now you'll have to select a directory. So I'm going to leave it default and click next. Now select one of the setup options. I'm going to go to custom. Click next and select your options. Click next. Put a computer name. If you want, you can leave it default, but I'm going to call it Windows 98 Second Edition Virtual Machine. So click next. This looks good to me. Now select your location. Now select your country down here and click next and click next and it's going to start copying files. I'm just going to fast forward this and I'm going to be back.
So it's done and it's gonna ask to restart. So you can just either let it or click restart now. Boot from hard disk by clicking enter. And now just put some user information. I'm gonna put my name and on company, I'm gonna put my YouTube channel. You can leave blank on company. So click next, I accept and click next. Now you're gonna have to put in your product key that I just listed on the description as I was saying. So just, I'm gonna just open it and put them side by side and fast forward as I put the license key in. Okay, so click next. Now I'm just gonna let these Okay, so here we go. Click finish. So capture the mouse and click finish. And I'm gonna fast forward again. So now it's gonna ask to restart again. Boot again from your hard disk by clicking enter. So select your time zone and your date and time. Click apply and OK. So I'm going to fast forward again here. And it's going to ask to restart again. Now boot again from your hard disk, don't remove our optical media yet. Now on this blue screen you're going to press any key to continue just to ignore that error. And now you're going to put a name and password if you want to. So now we are into Windows. Click close. And there we go. Thanks for watching. See you next time on How Do I Tea.